Greetings to everyone, and I know everyone is fine. Um, this is Revit Architecture, or let me say Autodesk Revit, the new version. And I will start by creating a new project. So this is my interface of the new version. So this is how it goes. Maybe your version is different from mine, but it's the same software just open the architectural metric template then you start working so i'll start by opening new so new then choose architectural metric template then okay so after it is loaded this is how display so not wasting my time i will go to the building elevation where we set the levels so i will choose by going to the north south east west so i just open the north south east or just one of these elevations so i will choose the south so this is how it is then these two levels is the default one or the system the one so the level one is the ground and the level two is the let me say the last level or the top of all so we will add our new levels to it so i will choose level from this datum in the architectural tab so i will select level then i'll come to this point then drag the mouse upwards or let me see place the mouse on this point where it is intersected this place where the cursor is snapping this place then you drag or you move the mouse upwards move the mouse upwards so you enter yes and the minimum height for that one that level we are creating is the let me see the floor finish or the screen so the maximum is 600 and the minimum is 150 so i will enter 400 then enter i'll move it here click then i and the first level any level which come below this level one is the foundation so we will add that one so let me see the foundation is 900 it's just a single story or uh, it's a single story so just click the same process so after creating this level you will choose the building height the building height so you select the level 2 this dimension where you select this dimension then you determine the building height it's three meters it's three meters so you enter three zero 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 enter but if you don't select the level two or when you select the level the third level over here or the speed over here it will move this level upwards so you have to select the level this level to to determine the building height so the total building height is here it's 3400 so the next step is we are going to rename the levels so i will start by renaming the level one as my ground ground level let me say this in your version maybe it will come some dialogue will pop up when you want to correspond the renaming to the ones at the project browser so you select yes for that one and the third level is the screen or the floor finish screen 
then the level four is the foundation foundation then the level two here is our roof if it is going to be a story wooden then you add more levels to it so this place can be our first floor by because it is just a single story it's going to be end here so select the level to then rename it as roof so after this step you move to where we will start by drawing the plan so we start the plan from the screen not from the ground we start from the screen so we come to the project browser over here the floor plan another floor plan you see the foundation ground level roof and the screen so you select the screen then this is how it goes the next step is you select the wall determine the wall thickness or the wall the size of the wall so this drop down over here you select this drop down if there is no 150 in this drop down you go to edit type you duplicate the wall then you go to edit at the structure parameter then you change the thickness to 150 so okay apply okay so then the last step is the constraint where we join the level so the level is unconnected so we join to from the screen to the roof so we are on the screen so we are joining it to the roof so we select the roof then apply so right now the height will display at this place so let's just draw a single floor plan so just and the floor plan if you are if you choose wall center line or if you are drawing from center to center you divide the wall thickness which is 150 into 2 then you add the 75 to the other wall so it will be like this let me see this is the wall this wall and you want you want here to be let me say 4500 and it is at the wall center line so we just now move the mouse enter 4500 enter let's measure and see so from this center to center is 4575 and let's measure with the faces the faces so measure the faces is four 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 two five so it is not up to what we want so here it is you add 150 to the dimensions so four five four thousand five hundred to be four six four six five zero enter let's measure that one too it's four five seven five still not getting the actual four thousand five hundred so we will change the location line from more center line finish exterior faces or a uh, finish faces exterior then we come again snap four six five zero enter let's measure so here it is yeah, it is 
this one is the faces 4500 let's go to the center lines and check that one too the 75 click on the wall come here wall center line so this one we add 75 to the to to the 4500 to move the mouse so it will be 4 4500 so it will be 4575 enter let's measure to see whether we will get the 4500 so this one too is the center the wall center line the first one was the the finished exterior face and this one the center line so the center you add 75 to the dimension and the exterior you add the full wall thickness which is 150 to the dimension so let's click draw so here is 4575 let me create another bed over here, which is 4575. We are on the uh, 4575. We are using the wall center lines. Enter. So 4575. Enter. Then we create a bathroom inside each one with a separate bathroom so we move 1500 squared to 1575 enter 1575 enter so this wall these two wall, we can mirror it to this place but before then let's trim this wall let's trim this wall over here so we go to the modify tab select trim select this wall and select this wall so it will trim that part so let's mirror this wall so select this wall we take the mirror the draw as is select that one then make sure you snap at the center draw a line down or upwards to mirror it to the other side then let's create uh, a porch porch in front of this it's it just a simple plan we are creating so let me see 1200 so 1275 275 let's join to the other wall then you want to trim this one to this wall so you go to the modifier again select this trim yes the first one is the trim and extend to corner and the second mm. one is trim extend single element so this wall is just a single wall if it is multiple you choose the multiple one this one so just select the single one select this face then select the wall so that it will join perfect then we want to trim this wall too. so trim trim so then we go so this is the plan just a two bedroom no kitchen no or just a simple plan for the tutorial so we proceed by adding doors and windows doors and windows door so the door we click the drop down over here this one the last one here is the biggest one and then this one is the smallest so you can choose to load more in your family so let me load one from the family uh, my libraries is at the desktop um,
So you select the door, then go to your residential. Um, choose. I will choose this one, or you can choose this one. So I'll choose the, this one. Then open. Then okay. So that's loaded. So you play. If if you want to swing, maybe left or right. Use the space bar. Press the space bar to swing left or right to click. Then here to you want to swing to this side, click. There you go. Select door. You choose a door for this washroom to register. So you choose the small one. Select this one. Then click. Yes, click, 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 click. Then the porch over here, you will create an opening over here. So I'll go to the opening here. Wall. Select the wall. I'll select this wall. Then start from here. And I'll select it again. Select this wall. And start from here to cut my opening. The same thing to the other side. Select at perfect. So this is how it is. Let's check on the realistic. So this is the plan. But if you want a design shape, you can select the word then edit profile then you create your own design you want to create in front of the building so we are done with the doors and the opening let's move to the windows so windows click on the drop down over here uh, i will choose 1200 by 1500 maybe you can't find this in your version so you can load some from your families like this one then make sure the window is the glass is at the exterior part of the wall so we place another window over here uh, we place window over here window then we place another one over here then another one over here so it left with the washroom window so we choose the window again let's go to top choose the small one which is 406 by 610 so we choose a double one click 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 so then we are done with the doors and windows let's do the grid the grid 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 select the grid let me do this select, select this grid then make sure you snap at the center click then click. take this box to get it one one then the next wall this wall take the same then we draw the grid through all the walls and you come here This one will be A. Take. 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 So you can drag this one. Can drag. So we are done with the grid. 
let's move to the foundation first then we come back to the annotation so let's move to the foundation level so this is the foundation level you hide these ones these doors over here but before then let's underlay underlay the plan from this grid then here it is so you draw a walls across all the walls so let's start make sure the wall snaps at the center at the center We are done with the walls then we remove the underlay set it back to now apply then you hide these windows just select one right click select all instance visible in view to select all then you hide them you don't want window in the foundation plan so and the grid one thing is the grid that you created on this grid it will appear across all even elevations the plants everywhere so don't create new grid again okay so we will do two type of foundation you add the path to the normal ones we know so let's go to structure isolated no structure foundation family is loaded in the project would you like to load a new one then you go yes so go back 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 scroll down search for structural foundation in your family choose m14 rectangular then open all right though edit type um duplicate the width may i choose 750 and the length to 750 and the thickness i'll choose 400 then apply okay so it, it will the the 14 is not visible so we will increase the view range so enter vr then the view depth we change it to unlimited then okay so it is now showing make sure it's not at the center then click we are just placing four at the corners then we place one here and another one to here good the next thing is the pad so you go to architecture architecture column architecture click m rectangular column do edit type then the base offset base is zero zero oh, okay so seven four seven five one thing is the column we will place inside the walls it is going to be 150 but in rivet when the column and the wall have the same thickness it will give us one one will not show where so it will somehow interfere with the other one so we use line to indicate that one we will not place this column 
by when it is more than 150 maybe 225 by 225 then you can place that one which is for story buildings okay so let's go to annotate detail line um, let's choose the medium oh, okay medium line then choose the rectangular click here so this is how the our column will be in the foundation plan so the same thing applies here all right um, same thing here and last one click perfect okay so we are done with the part foundation so we go to the, the structure tab again then the wall we select the wall edit type duplicate then the width is 450 the one we know the 450 by 225 the thickness 225 okay so this one we just select the walls it will pop up the foundation so just select 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 all right so the grid select and take the ball so that you get it perfect So the foundation plan this is how it is so we go to annotate then text you just write your hardcore feeling or just a feeling feeling so you can select this and copy it here you can copy some here copy one here so this is the foundation plan here too you can add feeling but it's okay so this is the foundation plan then you can dimension it to so you can start from here the part 750 then here to 750 like this then the thickness is 450 and the wall is 150 perfect so you can dimension at one side then you can do the center to center center to center um, we left one grid one grid so let's go back to this grid then create that grid grid the last grid which is five there will be five so um, let's go back to the foundation again appears here then so let's dimension the centers this is the foundation all right so here from here we we'll move to the ground level this space over here you want to close that space this gap over here you want to close that one so go to the ground level you select wall it is already constrained so just draw your walls through the external walls and you come to internal Then, uh, oh shit! My walls overlap. start from here mm -hmm. so 
let's check where okay let's check the other side okay and the back is filled okay so let's do the annotation select annotate text this one is bedroom bedroom one not just bedroom bedroom one then this one will be bedroom bedroom two so here will be wc um, slash so you can copy this one you can also resize the, the text by duplicating it all right and the porch the porch to Then here the porch perfect so this is the ground floor plan and we are done with the foundation too so the next thing is let's do the roof so we go to the roof level Let's do this one quickly. The grid quickly, quick, 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 quick. All right. So the roof. Go to the architecture. Select roof from here. Then select the roof. The roof is 400. You will duplicate well this so you use the pick walls then you enter our overhang over here which is 600 then select the walls so finish mode so this is the roof so we added type duplicate no Let's change the thickness before. This is the default one, so let's change it to 200. Okay. Apply. Okay. So let's check from 3D. So this is how the it will look. So you we are going to create the rich cap. So you select the roof, you copy, then paste at the same place, change the base offset. To 75 apply and here it is so we are going to use this one to create a rich cap so you go to architecture the opening you select vertical then you select the roof at the top select so you go to the roof plan if you can see from the roof plan you can use the 3d 3D. So move it to the top. So here it is. Then you choose pick walls. You offset it by 100, 100. So the cap, where there will be a cap, you offset it by 100, 100. Then the roof line will be zero. Offset it by zero. So you pick the roof. So from there, trim and extend. Come to the middle here, trim, 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 trim. trim. All right. 
okay so just finish mode then you get your cap let's check it from 3d so this is our rich cap then the last step is we are going to create the, the um, how, how do you call it there you finish it so copy paste at the same place duplicate this one then okay click the room drop down over here so move to slope glazing then let's change the offset let's choose 400 apply then at that time duplicate so the grade one layout just follow this process Fixed distance 400. Fixed distance 80,000. Not 8,000, 80,000. It's your type. Rectangular mode on 30 millimeters square. Choose that one, that one, that one, that one. Ooh. Alright, so then select so OK. So this is the roofing sheet. So we will reduce the base offset. Let me say 220. Let apply. 220. Let's check the real estate and see. Perfect. So let's do the um, the facial board and the gutter. So let's be then. then you go to architecture select this drop down choose gutter place your gutters rotate then gutter 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 right so we are done with the roof so let's do the floor at this grid so floor rectangular because of the plans rectangular that's why I choose rectangular and the last part here the thickness is 115 meters then finish me attach select so this is how it is the last thing we will do is we are going to place a column at this place columns one here one here but before then you create a level for the column columns so level Create your level. Create your level for color. Create your level for the column.
so you move back to the screen and column architecture then you load from your families columns to meta cloud column then open okay so just place them but before then you choose the diameter so edit type diameter duplicated before then diameter let's choose 400 for the diameter okay and the other one will be here the same here this opening drag it inside then same to I'm done let's share from 32 rotate One thing is because it is not constrained. Let's check from the front, the south. Okay, this one has constrained to the column level automatically. But because let's say you place and it was not constrained, then you select the column like this. Then the top level, you select your level you created for the column. Then you apply it to it. Okay. The next thing we will do is we create a site to cover the the foundation part. So we go to the site, then you come here, massing and site, then topo surface, just place a points. So let's say this is our site, then finish mode. Let's check from 3D. So here you go, and let's do this one. Let's create um, a threshold and a railing in front of the building. So we go to the ground level, select stairs, stairs, um, create a stair over here. One, move it to attach to this floor copy one to this side all right so okay um second okay this one is not necessary so we'll go to the real estate let's check all right so last thing is the realness that one we, we create that, that one on this grid if you refused to create it on this grid let's say maybe you, you created it on the ground level the height will reduce some some parts will be inside the ground level or let's say it will be inside where that level in between the screen uh, or the space in between the screen and the ground level okay so go to the screen select railings okay choose line click 
on click 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 finish mode then again railings same thing then here to become railings finish mode railings Center. Click again. All right. So let's check from the 3D. So we select one railing. Right click, select one instance. It's visible in view. Then we change it to glass panel. Perfect. So all the railings will be glass the next thing to do is this window height so you select one right click select all instances visible in view so that you select all then use the arrow keys to move it upwards Right. There you go. Okay. So this is screen. Because of the size, some part of the foundation, so let's hide hide the size from the, from the foundation. It is because of the size. Let's remove the site before and check the foundation. This is the floor. Okay, it's the floor. That's why. So we change the view range. The view range. So let's hide this stairs. This stairs from the foundation. We don't want stairs in there. Okay, right. Hide these railings to me. Hide them. Apart from the walls. Don't want anything to be part. All right, perfect. 